Welcome to Talk of the Town. On this show, we meet local business owners and nonprofits and events going on in the community. If you're a Madisonian, you probably remember Malat's Pharmacy on Monroe Street. If you're curious what's in store in that spot these days, you'll want to meet our next guest. With me is Dr. Tom Bach of Lakeview Veterinary Clinic. Thanks for coming to Talk of the Town today, Tom. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So before we talk about what's coming in or what's actually in the old Malat's Pharmacy, let's talk about uh, your clinic, Lakeview Veterinary Clinic. How long has it been in business? We um, will have been there 12 years this fall. And a shout out to your partner. Uh, Pam Mackey is my partner and we started the, the practice together. That's fabulous. 12 years. Congratulations. Yeah. All right. So you have a new spot and it just opened in June? It opened right at the end of May. So it's uh, two months okay, right, right two now. Okay, two months. Exactly. Now this is right next door to your clinic. Yes. Tell us what it is. So it's a um, a cat exclusive uh, uh, practice or addition to our practice and um, it's just a quiet environment where um, uh, cats don't have to hear all the, the noises associated with a regular veterinary clinic. So when folks need to take their kitty in for some veterinary care they take it to this cat only clinic that's next to your regular clinic, right? Exactly. Yeah, yes. well, you know, cats, I mean, dogs have trouble too, but cats maybe even more so. They, they travel there in their carrier, and then maybe in the waiting room they're around dogs, and it just adds to the whole stress of the event. So this is intended to be a little calmer and cat only? Exactly. No dogs yeah. allowed. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, no barking allowed. <laughs> what inspired you and Pam to open this cat only clinic? So we were in uh, a position where we needed to expand. And um, as you're saying, we recognize that cats have anxieties when they leave the home, and going to the veterinary clinic can be a very uh, uh, stressful experience. So we wanted to create an environment uh, where we could do all the things that we possibly could to make it um, as stress-free as possible for the cats. So we um, have a, it's in a separate building, so it's quiet. We have cat trees in all the exam rooms. We have um, in the exam rooms. In all the exam rooms, we have. Uh, cat perches up on the wall. Cats like to be up high. It makes them feel more comfortable. There's pheromone dispensers throughout the building. There's all the things that research has shown that can be helpful for making cats more calm. And that makes your job easier, too. It does, and it's interesting. Our staff seems to like to hang out over there, too. I think it maybe is helpful for them as well. <laughs> all right, and so um, you've opened this clinic, and your mission really was to make it stress-free or a little less stressful, at least for our kitties as we take them in, and the things that you've done. I, I like that you did the pheromone things. That's I've heard of those, and you think it works? Yes, yes, yeah? I think it does. It okay. seems to really have a calming effect on a lot of cats. All right, so word on the street is that you have unique items displayed on your wall. I'm wondering what that so, is. So, yeah, like. since we started, rather than have the, the traditional medical posters up, we have had... Um, uh, local artist art. My, my wife, uh, Birgit, is a, an artist and she's um, connected with the Madison art community and so we have oh, at least a dozen, um, sometimes up to 20 different artists that have their stuff on the walls in our practice. And it's nice for us because we always have beautiful art and it changes on a regular basis. Mm. Um, and all the art's for sale and all the money goes to the artist so then it can be a nice thing for artists too to be able to display their work in a different setting. Boy, that sure beats a flea and tick poster. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. And it's, it's okay. It's more like a kind of a, a coffee house kind of feel. It's much more warm, warm I think. Yeah, yeah, I agree. What a nice idea. And that seems so fitting for Monroe Street. That just seems very Monroe Street esque. And, and, you know, and for, for artists to be able to do, you know, it's, it has to be dog, cat related or animal related art. And so they're hitting, you know, the, the right segment of the. That demographic, right? Exactly. Yeah. Now, you have a special space in your new space. It's called the Cat Annex. Tell me what that is. Yeah, so um, we um, took over the, um, the Malat um, pharmacy space, and it was very sad. There's a, they're an iconic uh, pharmacy, and they're great neighbors, and it was really sad when they um, closed. But we're glad that we're able to use the space. And so right next door to our, our, our building, the Malat pharmacy space, is now the, the cat. Oh, I misunderstood that. So this new building is the cat annex. Yep, yep. Oh, then I'm so thinking... they actually are in a, the cats will go to a separate building completely. Okay. You They're know nice. what I was thinking of is I was thinking you have an adoption room. And well, I thought that was called the annex. Yeah. No, okay. Yes, but we do have an adoption room within the cat annex. So that's Got probably it. why you, you're confused. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about the adoption room. So within the cat annex, there is, we partnered with Madison Cat Project 
um, and we have uh, an adoption room, um, and it's, we're going to uh, find homes for homeless animals. So there will always be cats or kittens in there that uh, and this need is, homes. And this is the kind of room where you can go and just hang out and pet the kitties. And exactly, and we really want people to, to stop by and socialize with them and, um, you know, and see if maybe they'd be a good fit for, for their family. So, mm -hmm, and, absolutely. Yeah. What kind of hours? Is it the clinic hours for that adoption room? Same as the, the, the normal clinic, so like 8, okay. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. All right, yeah. and that'll be on your website if pe people are yep. interested in coming yes. in. Yes. Well, congratulations on your new space, and uh, hope, hope it works out for the kitties, too. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Tom Bach with Lakeview Veterinary Clinic, and we're talking to Tom. We'll be right back. <laughs>